Guys, it's been three years since Watch Mojo released a tier list that uh, blew community away with its interesting choices. And I don't think it was on anyone's 2024 bucket list for the sequel to said tier list. That's right. Watch Mojo has come out with a new 2024 edition of Top Dead by Daylight Killers. We're getting 20 this time. It's time to get into it. Just to remind you guys of the tier list previously submitted by Watch Mojo in 2021, it had Hillbilly at 10, Huntress at 9, Pig at 8, Pyramid Head at 7, Sit Nurse was 6, Nemesis was 5th, Oni was 4th, Myers was 3rd, Doctor 2nd, and Spirit 1st, with honorable mentions to Ghostface and Freddy. So I'm interested to see what Watch Mojo thinks that the current tier list of Dead by Daylight Killers are in 2024. Let's get into it. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting High Spectre Bull. Counting down our picks for the top 20 most fun and kind of sounds like it's Ghost Rider Tyler. Was it Ghost Rider Tyler? It was, wasn't it? Few of Dead by Daylight's killers require refilling. I think it's the same guy. He just changed his name. He's got a new name. Number 20. Vecna. Oh, that number 20. 100% the same guy. Yes. Yes, Ghost Rider Tyler. Back again with the Dead by Daylight tier list. Changed his name so he can't be tracked. But I got the detective skills in me. I see you, Tyler. Let's see what we got today. 20 Vecna. The big bad of Dungeons and Dragons comes with a weapon wheel loaded up with some handy spells that allow him to maintain control of a chase and even find survivors. Yeah, let's go, combo! As for his fourth spell, Flight of the Damned, it's way too slow to start up and easy for survivors to dodge, which is what gets him slapped onto the bottom of this list. No! Ty, that's not how you use Flight of the Damned. You just don't throw it out like a huntress thing. You use it at the pallet like you just did. You were so close. So close to greatness, Ty. I'll be honest, chat. Last time I did this, I did actually have a DVD tier list, so I used my own to compare it. To, uh, to Tyler's. Uh, Vecna for me feels like a low A, high B tier killer from what I've played of them. It feels like they could have been better, but they're not quite there. I don't think they're 20th. Probably closer to like the, the 12 mark in my perk. So uh, yeah, that's where I place them. Also, I don't know about you guys. I do not feel comfortable on the, the, the right side of the screen. Let's go over to the left side of the screen. All right, that's a lot better. Number 19, the Oni. What? Oni has dropped from number four all the way down to 19. What's happening, Tyler? You used to think he was so great. Holy moly. That is bad. That is bad. Oni being high was one of the best things. If, if Tyler even watched my video, it was one of the few choices that I said was a really good placement. And he's gone, you know what, Dalsy? <laughs> That's going all the way down tonight. Oh my goodness. When activated, the Oni can temporarily utilize two new abilities to quickly hunt and down survivors. Demon Dash will help him traverse long distances and possibly ambush unsuspecting survivors, while a charged Demon Strike will down even healthy survivors in a single hit. So they both down healthy survivors in a single hit here, Ty. That's what makes Oni so good. If it was just Demon Strike that downed it, then yeah, 19th actually is probably a relatively good position, but you can also get them with the uh, the Demon Dash as well. Yes, Ty! Nice, man. Big improvement. Number 18, The Nurse. Eighteen! Eighteen, Ty, no! Ty, we had this whole moment last time, don't you remember? Where I was about to say, hey, maybe this is an okay tier list and you've got some interesting ideas and then you put Nurse at number six and then I made a whole thing about how actually you're cooked and you don't know what you're talking about and I was a little bit mean. I apologize for being a little bit mean, Ty, but your reaction was to place her at number 18. Ty, why? Why, Ty, why? <laughs> God. Okay. Well, I mean, we already know that he said he struggles with the control on the Oni, and that's why he's placed Oni so low in comparison to number four last time. 
Uh, I assume that is just going to be a similar story. Nurse hard equal bad. When trying to escape the nurse, survivors may have an incredibly hard time avoiding her attacks. <laughs> the nurse... When trying to escape the nurse, the survivors may have an incredibly hard time to avoid her attacks. But she's actually kind of shit. Below average when you really think about it. Well, for a killer that sounds this oppressive, why is she only at number 18? Please tell me, Ty. Really? I, I, I think we all want to know why. Why is she only at 18? Whereas PC players might get a grasp on the nurse quickly, the same cannot be said for console players or those who prefer using a controller over mouse and keyboard. Okay. When used by that half of the player base, the nurse can feel a tad awkward and clunky to control. Sure. And her slow movement speed does not help. Fun killer, but man, she requires a ton of patience to get a hang of. Okay, I mean, I actually don't hate that. If I'm gonna be honest, I think that is a very well-reasoned, very justified statement that shows a relatively, you know, <laughs> good uh, logical argument. It, 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 nurse is hard, especially on controller. Controller players dominate on nurse when they get it. Um, and it really does come down to finding your sensitivity, finding your, uh, your, your play style, and, and getting comfortable with the game. But we are doing a top... 20 dead by daylight killers tier list here not a top 20 killers i find easy to use tier list so i don't know 18 is a bit rough number 17 pyramid head oh god jesus christ everybody hide autumn is about to ban you all in the twitch chat pyramid head drop from seven down to 17 it feels like we've taken all of the choices that we had previously and flipped them on our heads 17 for Pyramid Head. I actually don't hate as much. Um, I'm trying to think where 17 would place him. It's like C tier, low B tier maybe. It's not the worst. Realistically, guys, it's not the worst position for Pyramid Head. Probably a little bit higher, but marginally higher. Realistically, when you consider that that means that he's like, there's 20 killers worse than him. There's there's seven, eight, 16 killers uh, better than him. I think probably it's slightly less than 16 killers, but it, it's not the worst position. Let's be real, guys. We'll admit that at the time of this video, most of Pyramid Head's add-ons are pretty useless. Yes! So you know what? I actually love Ty for, uh, for, for he, I feel like he's done a lot more research. He's played a lot more Dead by Daylight since uh, his, his previous tier list. Pyramid Head's add-ons are trash. <laughs> There's only two good options, and they're the range ones. So, uh, please, behavior. It's been a long time since this killer's released. Give them some love. Oh, Ty with the double. Should a survivor go down while inflicted with torment, Pyramid Head gets the opportunity- Chat, you see that? You see that, YouTube? Subscribe and click the bell. Watch Mojo is telling you to do it, so you have to. And make sure it's to me. Here's hoping those add-ons soon buff him just a tad more. I agree. I, I, I actually genuinely, I, I, that was a really balanced review of Pyramid Head. I actually don't have anything mean to say or even uh, sarcastic. <laughs> he forgot to mention how attractive he is. Autumn, you're going to horny jail. Number 16, Leatherface. Buff is kind of like a low B tier killer. Maybe, actually maybe a high B tier killer, realistically. It's kind of fair. It's kind of fair. It's actually, again, pretty close. This has led many Bubba players to come up with utterly oppressive builds like Basement Bubba that no. can potentially end games before half of the gens are finished. <laughs> no! Watch Mojo's toxic! They're playing Basement Bubba and, and advocating for it! Oh, God! The humanity! Yo! Huge improvement on the previous Watch Mojo tier list. A 4K right there. He has been gaming! Let's go, Ty! Number 15. The unknown. Uh, no, no, no. Unknown in 15. This is one of the best killers. They're so good. Yeah, it's a shame, guys. I think they're a bit of a complex killer. The idea of how you play them, the way that you utilize their power to be effective, huge map control, huge down potential, huge skill expression. And that's probably what's the, that, that last part is probably the reason why it's so low. That, the, the, Unknown should be much higher. We all know it. Number 14. It's skill expression. That's that's where that's where Tyler starts falling apart on his tier list placements. Is as soon as a killer that has high skill expression, which actually is the reason why they're good, comes around. He just hasn't reached that point yet, so he he lowers the, the positioning. Here we go. West Grin number 14. 
Wesker. Where would I have placed Wesker in the past? As far as kill rates were concerned, Wesker was always the number one killer because he's a relatively simple to execute upon killer who's very capable of punishing survivors. 14 probably needs to be six places higher, roughly, I would say. It's it's definitely out of place here. Of all the killers in the game, he moves the fastest and has a rather sizable terror radius, which can create plenty of opportunities for you to get the jump on. Okay, that is a technically correct statement, right? In the sense that, is it a technically correct statement? I think it might be a technically correct statement that during his dash, he is the fastest killer, but it is one of the shortest dashes. However, Hillbilly, a blight is going to get across the map much better because it's continuous movement speed rather than a burst of movement speed. Number 13, the pig. Pig got demoted from 8th down to 13th? Whoa! What a fall from grace, but actually, let's be real. Should be lower. Should be lower, Ty. If you were going to start anyone at the 20th, then uh, that would have been better. Uh, yeah, pig is better than nurse. It's true. Yeah, she always has been, actually. Um, that's why we always nerf her whenever there's something broken in Dead by Daylight. It's the only way to fix the game. Poor Amanda can be an easy killer to bully when Swifts use certain builds, but in a normal game, she can be just as dirty Crouch. and become undetectable <laughs> on the... As long as you're not playing against a swift, uh, pig is a dirty killer. All right, I'm locked. I'm locked in. Number 12, the hillbilly. Hillbilly dropped from 10th on the previous tier list down to 12th when let's be real, hillbilly is in the top three of killers currently. That's bad to see him drop down the tier list. And again, it's going to be a skill expression thing, I have to assume that Tyler just hasn't quite found his stride with Hillbilly yet. What a shame. Since we did our original list way back in 2021, the Hillbilly has seen a pretty substantial change in how he plays. While he still has access to his chainsaw sprint to rush towards unsuspecting survivors, <laughs> just wait, just his wait. reworked overdrive mechanic now gives him some benefits to overusing the chainsaw. Just wait, just wait, no, no, just wait. We, we need to hear this out, all right? He's cooking right now, he's cooking. Let's hear it out. At the expense of a slight increase to charging up for a sprint, the Hillbilly gets a reduced cool down on sprints and an increase in movement speed during a sprint. No, you are using an iridescent add-on currently. Okay, I, I wanted to hear Tyler out, but he has just effectively said, since we did our last Watch Mojo tier list, Hillbilly got buff lots, and that's why I've moved him from 10th down to 12th. Just keep in mind any potential small tiles getting in your way, because the gods of collision can be ruthless. Oh, Tyler, please. I, I, I want to work with you here, Tyler. You're giving me nothing. God damn it, you're giving me nothing. Number 11, Dracula, Ooh, a.k.a. Okay. the Dark Lord. All right, I, uh, I kind of forgot that Dracula exists. He's the most recent killer added to Dead by Daylight. 11th of his, I, I think, a very fair placement, realistically, for Dracula. 11 puts him probably low A tier. As for his wolf form, he can find survivors more easily as scratch marks form closer together and in a more linear fashion. Honestly, you'll feel just as unstoppable as he was back in the NES days. I like it when uh, when you get a pretty solid review on the killers. It, it, it kind of mixes things up a little bit. It makes you think Ty's cooking again. And uh, the next choice that he's going to put out is going to be really good. Number 10, the Nemesis. Hmm, Nemesis probably is 10, isn't he? I actually... But since he's buff, he's kind of really good, don't you think? Ty, Ty kind of cooking right now. Wasn't Nemesis about four from the tier list? Oh, you're right. True. Nemesis was fifth on the tier list previously. He's dropped five places. And actually, realistically speaking, ne since Nemesis has got his buffs, theoretically, he should be stronger as far as Tyler is concerned. Huh. I don't know what's going on over there at Watch Mojo Studios. The zombies can lead to some hilarious moments and chases, and it's why Nemesis is our preferred killer between the two Resident Evil reps. Oh, okay. All right, chat. Genuine question. Uh, since I've been gone, I haven't played much Wesker. Who are we rating higher currently? Since Nemesis is buff, is Wesker still higher than Nemesis? Or is Nemesis now edging out Wesker? Let's have a little vote in chat. Wesker's still better. Nemesis, Wesker, Wesker. I hate Wesker more, but Nemesis feels stronger. Honestly, can argue either. But Wesker probably slightly better. Wesker, average skill, Nemi, high skill, Wesker. Wesker, higher, Nemesis, more fun. I don't know. I'm shit at both. Me too, Noah. Number nine. The Dredge. Ooh, the Dredge. Honestly, Dredge probably is around number nine now since he's buff. Lockers it's a good choice. But if you notice lockers having locks on them, congratulations. You have found yourself in a game with the Dredge. 
This blob of flesh and darkness uses lockers. I thought the way he said that like as if it was a game show. On today's episode of Dead by Daylight, our contestants will win one game with a dredge. <laughs> <laughs> Mobility and temporary periods of explicit info are what make the dredge a real monster in this game. Ooh, we all know the real high tier monster is twins, bucko. And I haven't seen you mention them yet. Also, he didn't use the remnant ones. Someone teach Ty how to use remnant. He will love it. Oh, wait, never mind. Hey, Ty! I'm proud of you, bud! Let's go, Ty! Number eight. The plague. Plague, number eight. Okay, okay, interesting. The plague is one of the most difficult killers to go up against. The big reason for this- <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Sorry, he's about to tell us. He's about to tell us why plague is the uh, the most difficult killer to go against. The big reason for this is her unique power, Vile Purge. Uh -huh. By vomiting onto survivors and doing so extensively and excessively, uh -huh. the plague can force players into an injured state while inflicting broken, right. preventing them from healing and forcing them to seek out one of her pools of devotion. Gotcha. Should a survivor ignore infection and proceed to interact with gens, pallets, and teammates, the infection can wind up infecting fellow survivors. Oh why <laughs> that's the part i'm still wondering i mean don't get me wrong against an inexperienced or even a solo team who aren't very well coordinated play can snowball heavily out of control but most players are pretty solid at dealing with plague you know they they stay sick they loop well they don't take risks and they don't give her the corrupt purge so she's forced to be an m1 killer who doesn't have any way to get it down other than swing and then you just utilize the map resources and do generators number seven the ghost face. Ooh, ghost face. Ghost face was an honorable mention in the previous tier list and now has managed to make it into the top 10 of all Dead by Daylight killers. What a huge honor for, uh, for ghost face to move from honorable mentions up into seven. But let's be, pff, let's be real. He doesn't belong there. <laughs> he, just does, he just doesn't belong there, does he? Go on, tell me why, Ty. I want to know. Sometimes you may stumble upon a ghost face that just wants to be goofy <laughs> and have fun with survivors. He's just a goofy little guy. The serious Ghostface players, they're a different beast altogether. Overall, Ghostface is one of those killers you can get a grasp on quickly, but will demand some time to truly master and get the jump on survivors. <laughs> yep, I mean, that could be said about anybody, to be honest, but I don't think Ghostface is the kind of killer I would really be making that statement on personally. He's kind of pretty straightforward in the way you play him. You know what? I love that. <laughs> can I just... You guys can't see this, but every time Ty has uh, has got his editor to uh, to show an end game result here, he's very much purposely shown a merciless killer result, really showing that he's improved in his DVD <laughs> game since the last Tearless video. I like that for you, Ty. Go get it. Number six, the Huntress. The Huntress number six. Actually, six is pretty solid for Huntress. Genuinely, really solid for Huntress. And um it's a promotion previous tailors had huntress at number nine i think that's solid yeah not bad if you watch any dbd streamers or youtubers you may have come across the occasional huntress compilation where players are nailing hatchet throws from ridiculously long distances my that's bad that's pretty much why we regard the huntress so highly when looking at the most fun killers wait they a second it's why we regard huntress so highly when looking at the most fun killers it's a tier list based on fun top 20 dead by daylight killers for fun they got us they got us again chat number five the doctor how how has the doctor been reduced from number two all the way down to number five ty what happened Do you know what the reason we had doctor at number two previously was he showed nine killers before that sorry eight killers before that and none of them were kills before x gates were completed at all and the first time he actually got a 3k or a 4k was doctor footage and so we're like that's why it's number two I think that uh, now that he's getting better at other killers, he's starting to realize Doctor's not quite scratched up what it is, but he loves him. He loves him. It's like a, a, a romance story. He can't say no to the Doctor. He can't stop laughing with the Doctor. He has to have his boy Herman up there. I appreciate that. You know, loyalty above all else, Ty. And let's just completely glance past the fact that Doctor is one of the worst killers in DVD. <laughs> Number four, Michael Myers, <laughs> a.k.a. The Shape. Oh, Michael Myers with the fourth place addition on the tier list down from number three on the previous one. That means we have potentially a brand new top three killers 
as Myers and Doctor have exited the top three. I'm interested to see who's made it into that list now. In all honesty, Michael Myers can be one of the hardest killers to play as. Yes. This is because his power, Evil Within, requires you to stalk survivors in order to efficiently down and sacrifice them. Uh -huh. This means you may lose out on two or three gens before you can make it to maximum Evil Within. True. Achieve this, and Michael can down survivors instantly for a certain period of time. Certain add-ons can even let him grab a survivor while their back is turned towards him and kill them instantly. Now, I do think the Tombstone add-ons are the most broken add-ons in Dead by Daylight. And if you are playing Dead by Daylight with Myers every time with Tombstone, then actually Myers is a very strong killer who has a lot of ability to kill survivors. But uh, no, no, it's never number four. Never number four. It's Halloween all over again. And this time, oh, Meg, we no. get to become pure evil. <laughs> okay, Ty, calm down, pal. <laughs> Can someone check on Ty, please? I'm worried. Please, somebody check on Ty. Number three, the Xenomorph. Okay, interesting. Xenomorph, I think is a, a low A tier killer, so it doesn't... It's not like crazy that he's up here in the tier list, but no, not not number three, like probably closer to 10, 9, 8 in that area, right? If you want to play a killer that is truly devious, then the Xenomorph is one of the best to play as. <laughs> he's a truly devious boy. But what truly makes the Xenomorph one of DVD's most satisfying killers to play with is its long-ranged tail attack. With its tail, the Xenomorph can injure survivors from the other side of some tiles or objects, and even pallets. Number two, Chucky, Chucky. aka the good guy. Hey, yeah, I mean, Chucky is a very strong killer. Definitely A tier worthy. Probably not top five. Maybe if he is top five, he's um, fifth. It is an absolute misery that Nurse is so low. And does that mean Spirit maintains her number one spot? I guess we're going to find out. Chucky used to be one of DBD's most oppressive killers until Behavior nerfed him and reworked his power a It's bit. true. Well, Ty knows and recognizes that Chucky used to be one of Dead by Daylight's top killers until he was nerfed and yet has still placed him at number two. Huh. Okay. It's the simple fact that Chucky will verbally assault survivors relentlessly. Yeah, I mean, that is honestly the thing that makes Chucky S tier, is his voice lines. I agree with you there, Tyler. Mine, shit for brains. <laughs> Start a chase, land a hit, down a survivor, hook them, off them. Chucky has an insult for everything, and it makes every game hilarious. It's true. I, 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 it is true. Chucky is one of the best killers behaviors released, and it's been the killer I wanted in DVD forever. Before we continue, be sure to and subscribe and to Dowsy on Twitch.tv, where we are trying to get Partner Plus uh, program. Your tier one subs will greatly uh improve my revenue share with twitch forcing bezos to pay me more money per sub so please subscribe to dowsy on twitch.tv thank you number one the spirit three years in a row spirit the three time back to back to back top dead by daylight killer again I mean, and honestly, Spirit is a strong killer. She, she, she top three worthy? No, she's not. But she's close. I definitely think that if you are a newer player to Dead by Daylight, she is the killer you can purchase and pick up and play and get really good at really quickly and dominate survivors with. So that is probably why she's at number one. In our original list of the best killers to play as, we put the Spirit at number one. The Spirit That's is by far the scariest and toughest killer to go against, and it is what makes her the most fun to go against and play as. Chat, do you find Spirit fun to play against? Like, actually, genuine yes, no here, because if anything in my... However long I've been playing Dead by Daylight, seven, eight years of Dead by Daylight, I have never heard anybody say Spirit is fun to play against. Even when she was really bad on release, people were complaining about how she is cheesy, boring, DC. -ing. I don't think ever as someone has made the statement Spirit is fun to play against. Wow. Tie with the, the, the world first here. And the killer I struggle against most of the time is Wraith. I can't stand Wraith. But let us know... <laughs> It's, I like opinions. I like assholes, and everybody's got one. And I always love to hear about your asshole. Wait, no, that, edit that part out, please. Um, guys, what do you think of Watch Mojo's tier list video? How do you rate Ty's placements after three years of playing Dead by Daylight nonstop? Do you think he's got better 
with his ping opinions or do you think he's gone off the deep end you gotta let me know if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel and why don't you check out the previous watch mojo tier list video as well uh, from three years ago if you haven't seen it